So anyways, and that's how I got all, lot of, all the money I had. So, going back to Nam. The reason I ran down there is to see this. Because I couldn't believe they actually were going to try to put it out. And have it look good. Um, and there's several things on theirs why it looks like crap. And why this will always be superior. Because of legalities, really. Son of a biscuit eating butt chunk. Son of a biscuit eating basset hound is what I usually say. You got to clean up your mouth when you, you're, uh, just got to do it. Old men cussing are never, this never looks cool. Okay, I'm not an old man. I'm only 40, 39, 40. I want you to look at the paint. You will not see this paint. I know what paint, he said it in several interviews, Eddie, I talked to him, people who've uh, seen the guitar before it was destroyed. It doesn't exist. His does not exist anymore. It was, he said that he ruined the tone. He didn't ruin the tone. These ruined the tone, the turnbuckles. And these are exact ones got from the exact place he got his. Glendale Fence Company. I know. And this paint, he got at a bicycle sh store, Schwinn. Anybody that ever had a Schwinn bicycle growing up, they know that this is Schwinn red, and it's like candy red. Look at it. So I took this down. When I got this made in 2016 and delivered in January of 17, I had the, these are on, and I played it, and I'm like, son of a gun, it sounds just like the other piece of crap. Because <laughs> I have another one made from a destroyer, an Ibanez destroyer. And it played, eh, so I had this done to it, because I knew it would ruin the sound. Because everybody was convinced this was the problem. I knew this wasn't the problem, because then all star guitars would sound bad, right? Right. This was the problem. And this doesn't help either. The brass nut. Can you see it? That is actually a bone nut painted to look like a brass nut. But see, when I took it down to EVH, they went over this friggin' thing cr like crazy because I had these off. They plugged it straight into an amp. I didn't play. A guy played and he's like, this thing sounds friggin' incredible. What do you got? What did you do to it? What did you, uh... I said, well, first thing is I took these off. The turnbuckles. These are the problem. They're like, well, that's a pretty big part of the guitar. I'm like, yeah, but the only thing I could think of is putting dampers in the holes. Because I still got the holes here to put it in. And I was going to do it, making these rubber. I don't know what they did because I, I couldn't get a good look. <laughs> They've, uh, But I noticed that the, the turnbuckles were loose. They're, and his are always tight because he thought that's how he was going to get the tone from here to there using metal. No, then you'll get a metal tone. Anyways, so this is the reason I went down there. This is mine. This is the second one I've had made, and this one is made perfectly. Everything except for those who know, this is not the right bridge, and the colors, you know, everybody goes, dude, because hip here, I've got uh, three gold, three chrome. There was a brass nut, now there's a fake brass nut. EVH, they put that on themselves after they went through this guitar mid-2017. A few, a few months after I got it, because I'm like, I had to take this down there and see what they think. And they were already talking about the uh, 5150 guitar with the Kramer neck. And I'm like, Gibson owns Kramer, though. How are they going to pull that off? Or they're going to own it. They were talking about it. All this is in the air still. I don't think uh, Kramer was a done deal. 
because now Kramer's a part of Gibson, not Fender. But they were doing the 5150, which has that big, ugly headstock. The big, stupid, uh, what do you call it, hockey stick. I hate it. And he hated it, too, Eddie said. He hated the damn thing because it always he'd smack it and bust it off and have to put on a new neck all the time. So I went down there to see theirs. Theirs is ugly. Not the right color. Red. See how this red is kind of candy? It's dark. Their red is like the red they're using that he used on the uh, Frankenstrat, which is different. This is silver. They got the silver kind of right. There, to me, it doesn't look right. This doesn't. This is an exact because this this literally is an Epiphone uh, Explorer. Because I thought, let's go and use an Epiphone with Karina Wood and try it. That was a big yes. Because this is actually like a, a pretty new uh, Karina Wood Epiphone uh, Explorer that's been made into a shark. And when I got it, he had the turnbuckles and everything in so it looked, you know, how it was supposed to. See? So you don't get confused. There you go. This one is hard to find. So, that's enough with the light. But, uh, I think I can dim it. Um, that's the main reason I went. I wanted to see what they're doing. What's the deal with this? So, keep looking. <laughs> I gotta do something. Hey, over there. Bring the light on. Hey. So I went down, checked it out, grabbed a few things, ran over, got this that shirt. <laughs> it's not the other day. And I've also destroyed two of my fingers. I ripped this nail off and I jabbed a splinter into that. I do gardening. I do gardening. No, I keep up my parents' uh, houses their yard because they're too old to do it so hey I'm doing it for them anyway so I ran down and I wanted I'm thinking if they did this if they put EVH exactly where I, they did on my guitar I'll kill them there's nothing I can do about it but I'd kill them they didn't this is where the EVH is if you can see it it's on the truss rod cover so the guy that was there is the sales guy and he said that they were gonna have guys there from the shop but see that's if you can see the EVH on the truss rod cover that's where they put it so I'm gonna get one of those put it on there so I still don't have to buy it but if you get online and look at this shark it's no bueno it's not good. It's not right. It doesn't look right. Look at that big ugly headstock. Mm, look at that ugly. I'm, I don't get the Frankenstein. I don't see the appeal of it other than... I don't know. I would have to... What I'm doing now is I have a one of the newer ones. Let's see. Far beyond the sound. See, everybody's tried to do it. Look, at that guy's got the wrong turnbuckles. He's actually got bigger ones, which really screw the sound up. So anyways, that's why I went down, to see how they had finagled it. And what they did is basically took the Kramer neck, shaved it down a little bit, but it can't look like this, which is what, this is about as close as you can get to a destroyer, without it being a destroyer because it was a copy of it. And that's what resulted of the out of the lawsuit was the headstock is the, it will be copyrighted and will be the copyright of every guitar. You can rip off every body you want. That's why everybody ripped off the Randy Rhodes body as long as they didn't rip off the Jackson shaped headstock. So that's why you know, that was the result of the uh, lawsuit, the Gibson lawsuit. 
against Ibanez. You can't do it with the same headstock. Well, then they their destroyers, had, you know, they actually had better headstocks after that. Everybody knows, you know, destroyers, what they look like. Think of Phil Collins in the stupid Def Leppard video. That's what the destroyer turned into, not in a bad guitar. So anyways, I have this. This is my second and favorite shark because it's it's amazing look at he's got this right these are huge and they were huge on the original these uh i think they're gigantic but they were and he got it everything right this is perfect it's the right paint to me personally that's exactly where the logo should be it looks it looks right they did it right on mine why didn't they do it right on theirs i don't know and they're using EVH pickups, and it doesn't sound right to me. I heard the guy play it, and I'm like, no, I've got one that sounds better than that. He goes, oh, no, this is all oh, there, because the pots are, oh, screw you with the pots. This thing sounds incredible. Now, I'm just going to play a little bit so you can hear it. I can't really play, as you can see, but this thing has a great tone to it. 